Deixa! Uh. Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new video. If you haven't seen the last video about how I split up my program, make sure to check it now before this video because in this video, I'm gonna show you very detailed my primary dip stake. First things first, I want to inform you that we have some coaching spots left. Programming wise, we are sold out at the moment, so we don't take any more programming only clients. Uh, we're now focusing on the open spots for our online coaching service. So if you are interested in leveling up calisthenic skills, getting pain-free again, so let us help you with the rehab process or of course improve your weighted calisthenics, your form, your weights, your max strength, then uh, we are the right address for you. So schedule your free consulting call for our online coaching and then we figure out how we can help you the best to achieve peak performance together. And now I hope I talked enough <laughs> and have fun with the primary dip stay. And yeah, sadly, this is what uh, most often gets lost on Instagram or YouTube channels that, yeah, it cannot always be ups. There always are uh, lows and not every session feels great. And even the good athletes, um, they need to practice a lot and they also struggle with techniques as I am now struggling with actually very, very easy muscle ups. But that's how it is and that's part of the journey. So yeah, just push through it and improve what you can improve. Okay guys, as I seem to be the most untalented uh, muscle up athlete when it comes to more than run rep. And the doubles first rep always felt amazing, second rep always felt shit. We're now in the fourth set trying to cluster it and then see if both reps feel great. And today I can finally flex with my new dipping bars made by Home Gym Builders. We'll put you uh, the link in the description. It's not the final version. Um, they will come up with a new version. I just um, received this bars a bit earlier because I need to uh, record some footage for my upcoming uh, weighted calisthenics book that I'm currently writing and uh, we're going to have um, yeah, a cooperation with the home gym builders to market these <laughs> more than amazing bars. Super happy to have them. Um, the next version that will also soon be uh, available in their shop um, just has a bit of a different mechanism here to mount it on the, on the rack. It's just a bit more stable then, also if it's not loaded. Now it's very, very stable. If you load it, then there is no, um, no uh, shaking anymore. If it's not loaded, it's shaking a bit, but that will be fixed in the new version. And of course, I will have it branded with uh, King of Weighted. And as you can see, you can easily adjust it here. And it has competition standard um, grip width, which is here uh, 50 millimeters. And then you can adjust it to the, to the bar width that you want to have. And so I'm now in the very, very nice position to practice with a perfect competition setup. And that is uh, 
a huge plus for me. So today, first heavy dip session on the new bars, primary dip day. have an idea uh, because currently I have the problem that when I'm dipping like above 80, 90, 100 kg, it gets very, very hard to just bring the plates in the vertical position. And now I'm trying to figure out until I maybe, uh, yeah, get me some kind of uh, whatever gadget to uh, place the, uh, the plates a bit better. I might just take the smaller boxes, put them behind so I can lean the plates next to it. Let's see if that works. Plates go here. Nice! So dips are done, top set 95 instead of 92.5, um, yeah there was a bit hype involved due to the new dip bars, also last dip session went great, um, might have been a bit heavier than planned, top set not, but uh, the back offs were a bit heavier than they should have been, but yeah, everything else uh, totally fine, so it was no big overshoot like that I hit RP10 or something, and even if, um, sometimes that's totally fine, as long as it does not happen too often. So, um, yeah, trying to uh, stick to everything now and not let the hype win.